let us discuss the molecular mechanism by which crossover occurs. During prophase 1, when the non-sister chromatids are synapsed, um, you can have a double strand break in one of the non-sister chromatids. And here we have two uh, non-sister chromatids. where the orange one has had a double strand break. And a double strand break is when the phosphodiester bond is broken. And in this case, the phosphodiester bond has been broken in both the, the strands of the double helix of the orange DNA molecule. When this happens, the DNA is eroded from the five prime end. And that leads to exposed single stranded DNA. And in the next step, this single stranded DNA um, uh, will invade the other non sister chromatid and base pair with one of the strands of the other non-sister of the non-sister chromatids so you it's forming hydrogen bonds and base pairing with the non-sister chromatid as a result the the strand um, on on the blue non-sister chromatid has been displaced and this strand will base pair with the orange non-sister chromatid. So we have one strand of um, the orange uh, chromatid is base pairing with uh, one strand of the blue non-sister chromatid and the other pair is um, uh, is doing the same. In the next step, DNA polymerase is going to extend both the orange and the cyan strands. So we will have polymerization, new DNA forming, where the orange strand is using the cyan strand as a template and the other orange strand is using um, the cyan, the other cyan strand as a template. Once the replication is over, um, the ends are sealed and this results in um, a structure which has two single strand junctions and this this structure is called a holiday junction furthermore if there was um, uh, um, any position in the dna where the non-sister chromatids did not have the the same sequence so as a, a, a position where they're polymorphic um, for example the orange strand has a g gc pair whereas the cyan strand has an at pair over here because the the strand that carried the cytosine was eroded in earlier steps steps and now the cyan um, non-sister strand is base pairing with the orange uh, non-sister strand you have a position in um, the top two molecules where a g is pairing with the t and 
that's known as heteroduplex DNA and this region that contains this heteroduplex DNA is called a heteroduplex region. In the next step, you have um, uh, th th these uh, uh, single strand bonds are broken and resealed so that you get a complete crossover. So the um, this cyan strand is going to connect with the cyan strand over here and the bottom cyan strand is going to connect with the orange strand up there whereas this um, orange strand is going to connect with the cyan strand over here and this will result in a complete crossover.